everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Today's game features arguably the best defense in the NFL. The Browns are the least scored on team in the league, and they'll be up against a Colts offense that will need to rise to the occasion. With that, let's send you out to Maitland Summit Stadium, where we say hello to our two broadcasters, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. We are just a stone's throw away from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as we get set for football at First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. Tonight, we wrap up Week 11 with a good Monday nighter between the Indianapolis Colts and the Cleveland Browns. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Browns ball club. They come in following a loss last week that ended their win streak at seven games. And they had good fortune throughout the entire streak, but it dried up on them in the last game. Meanwhile, for the visiting Colts, they come in after tasting defeat for the first time in about a month as their loss snapped a four-game winning streak. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. This is taken at the three. It'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And a look at a guy, definitely got a little razzle-dazzle to him. Can do it with his arm or his legs, their mobile QB. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Second and ten. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Simple slant route, and it works to perfection. And when you're a big-bodied receiver, you use it like it's a basketball play. Body the defender away and catch the football. Third play in this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. throw here out of the gun quick hitter here it's complete and he's gonna have a first down as he's brought down at the 44 yard line they give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Fresh set of downs here. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And the defense comes onto the field for the first time, and it is a unit that struggled a week ago. So they're looking for a fast start, Brandon. Can they create a turnover early? Can they take the ball away? That's what this unit's looking for to get back on the beam. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Now that result is no surprise. This team is bringing back memories of what? The 85 Bears, the 2000 Ravens. Those teams were so great against the run, they made you abandon any plans of doing that when you played against them. On third down, he'll drop the throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. 
The goal of every offense is to move the chains, pick up first downs. A nice job finding an open receiver for a completion. attack here and able to push his way forward here for a good little game it's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive they'll run it now out of the gun and this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more no gain on the play there so they're left with a third down and six yeah, I think the blitz there really disrupted the draw. Yeah, and it's usually when you catch them in a blitz, the draw works pretty well. If you're the offensive coordinator right now, that's visor throwing time, isn't it? Because that's supposed to work in a big way. And yeah, the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. They'll look to throw now on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. And the seemingly endless drive continues. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to pull them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Man, it wasn't that long ago that the guy playing that spot was an outside linebacker type of a guy. Now, as a defensive end, how about the speed that he used to get into the backfield and make the play? And they'll go on the ground. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Two yards gets him back to where they started, but now third and 10. touchdown but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one they gave up the completion there but this is what zone defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch and a really long drive here and it goes on and on And they'll run it here. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? second and goal and they'll bring him down after just a short pickup and give him two yards officially and now it'll be third and goal oh, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense they'll give it to him right up the gun a loss of a yard and it brings up four Oh, Brandon, that was a big play by the defense to keep him out of the end zone on third down. So there's an early decision to be made here, isn't there? I know that three is awfully tempting, but I'd pull on my big boy pants right now, and I'd go for it. And his kick is good. And the Colts hit the scoreboard first. It's 3 nothing. So they come into enemy territory. Nice drive to start the game, but they probably wanted six. They only got three. I agree with you totally. That's the expectation. When you get the ball and you start moving it and you're rolling, you think you're going to end up in the end zone. But they should be happy with the three. A good way to get things going here in this game. This is taken at the three. 
And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. three here as he's out to the 30. And now this offensive unit, we get a look at their starters. They put up good numbers last week looking to carry that forward. Yeah, Brandon, they saw the numbers from last week. They expect to at least replicate them. They think that they can put up bigger numbers this week. They are a confident bunch. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. Uh-oh, Charles, now you get to talk about your old spot, the secondary, very key here in this one. Yeah, you have to cut me off because, you know, I'll talk about them all game long. Love to see those guys match up and challenge the best wide receivers. time to the tailback there he goes left side past the 20 and all the way in touchdown Cleveland a big play there with touchdown number seven on the year and the Browns have taken the early lead and on that long run maybe the defense caught napping a little bit the concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. Oh, and this is blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. But he will not be able to bring this one back in the extra point attempt unsuccessful. Well, there's a blocked extra point. I remember playing, and we had one of those go against us. I remember our kicker and our holder told the head coach, just relax, coach. Why are you yelling? Don't worry, it's just one point. Oh, my. Those coaches see a point is gold to them because you never know how it's going to turn out later. Exactly. That's why I was just going to say first quarter. We'll see if this has any implications as the game goes on. I still can't believe they told the head coach to relax. Whoa. <laughs> Bad move. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. To the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. All right, I'm doing my rudimentary math here. That's his third catch here in the first quarter. I don't know if it's just game plan, or he's just finding his way open. Yeah, maybe a little of both. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Holding defense. Well, they have the yards anyway, so they're going to decline the penalty. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And he's got it as the lead is now 10-6. Hardly any time taken off the clock there. Two plays, and they find the end zone for six points. Go. 
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now the Colts' defensive unit trots back out there. And in a tight ball game like this, the defense looking for a stop. You kind of, if whether you're the offense or the defense, you don't want to be the one to screw this thing up. No, not at all. And right now, you've got to figure that the offense is thinking to themselves, if you just get us the ball, we'll, pay, we'll make things happen for you. Just help us out a little bit. And that's what the defense has to have in mind as they trot out here for this series. Yeah, right now, the offense on the sideline. Can the defense do it? And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. So second down was a run play. Now let's see what they do on third. They'll come out in the pistol. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Backing up. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. And they brought the pressure there just right up the gut, didn't they? Yeah, they certainly did. And, you know, when you've got so many different responsibilities as an offensive line, you got to deal with the nose tackle, the two defensive tackles or ends, and then sometimes you just can't account for everyone. The linebacker slipped free. The Browns send out their punter now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. It's taken to the 26. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. That was a good, strong run there. And while it won't pick up a first down, it was definitely something needed by that offense. A positive run. They got a good push by their guys up front. Maybe something they can build on as this game continues. They'll look to throw here. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Well, not that we had any questions, but it's obvious his arm does not hurt today, does it? He does not mind slinging it around. He is firing that pigskin around the yard. Yeah, put it deep downfield, taking shots. Unsuccessful there, but I like his moxie. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. So we played one quarter here on a Monday night. 10-6 the score. The NFL on EA Sports continues right after this message. Back with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. The Colts in possession of the football to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. They come out here in the eye. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So that's the word from the referee. Neutral zone infraction, five yards. And, of course, the defense is always pointing at the offense about how they drew them across. Flag goes against the defenders on that one. Green, 39. Green, 39. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. 
And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just boom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. They'll come out in the pistol. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. It looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. The Colts send out their punter, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Try the ground game here with the running back. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Give him 13 on the pick up there. And that'll be good for a Cleveland first. So often you hear about teams trying to avoid the middle when they're working against a true 3-4 defense because the nose is so hard to move. Which side do you block him to? How do you get him out of the middle? Well, some teams will double team. Some teams have a good center that can move a guy. But if you can control him, that takes away whatever the rest of the force guys are trying to do to you because once they get to the play, you usually overwhelm them with your own blockers, and that creates some space. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Let's see what the offense comes with here. Second and eight. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. So the offense dealing with a third and six. Here we go. They'll look to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. It goes as a gain of six, and it's a first down. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic, so anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even added a little extra at the end with a short run. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And that's why you see so many teams play a 3-4 defense, because that set gives you a lot of flexibility about where to bring pressure from, and it's hard for an offense to pick it up. Left side, right side, up the middle, especially with some really flexible linebackers. Let's go! Brian 38! Brian 38! They'll set up a throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. Having an effective short passing game, one of their mains concern coming into this one right there, able to hit the D with a quick strike and a first down. And you're able to put that into your game plan when you see that there's space to throw the football. A lot of defenses don't want to play press coverage or tight coverage. They'll play backed off, and sometimes those cornerbacks will bail out really fast and really get deep, and that allows you to throw the quick game underneath, and they took advantage of it. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Wide open receiver complete. 
And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. And those first downs do add up. The offense keeps the ball moving downfield and keeps their defense on the bench, giving them a chance to rest. way forward here for a modest game. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. All right, partner, despite my eating habits, I'm not big enough to play offensive tackle, nor am I quick enough. But with the defensive ends nowadays and their speed, those guys have to be able to punch and dance. And it's a tough, tough job to contain them. Looking to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. It's not always as trade as that team wanted it more than the other, but on that play, it actually was true. They were faster to the ball. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Come on, let's go. Grand 38. Grand 38. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. His pass caught at the four. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Simple slant route and part of a really nice hard throw by the quarterback. Nice timing between the quarterback and the receiver. They were perfectly in sync, and he put it right on him on the inside route. Again, we'll see the pistol here. They'll drop the throw. And almost intercepted. Would have been a huge pick in the end zone, but as it stands, that brings up fourth. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. Another pistol look here. They're going to look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Their dangerous wide receiver. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And once again, the Browns are back in front. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure this team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game. But just let them know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, 
Just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Again, we'll see the pistol here. They'll look to throw now on first down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Second down now after the pass completion. They come up in an offset eye. They'll set up to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. On offense, a guy that you want to have the best eyes on the field are your quarterback, so you can see everything pre-snap, and then, of course, as the play develops. On defense, oftentimes it's the linebacker, and on this play, his eyes took him right to the ball, and he made a nice tackle. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. All right, here we go. Now a handoff here to his running back. And able to work his way down to the 16. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Not an ideal spot to be on first down, but I love that the play caller did not immediately abandon the running game and say, okay, we've got to throw it in order to pick it up. Stayed with the run, was rewarded with a big-time pickup. Now they're in second and manageable. Two minutes to play here in the first half. More from Cleveland after this. A reminder that coming up in two minutes, we'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And I'm going to check in with a heater. Well, I'm going to be right there with you, partner. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And eventually stopped just shy of the goal line right around the two. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. From the two-yard line now, it's first and goal. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. But good luck there as a ball carrier. You get handed that football, look up. Oh, there's a big D tackle. Let you swallow you whole for a loss. Yeah, you kind of count on your guys to give you at least a little bit of time, a little bit of space to try and maneuver, but not on that one. And when you have a defensive tackle who is that strong, that agile, he's a lot to deal with. Sometimes you have to double him, and sometimes you're not able to block him no matter who's trying. to throw on third and goal surveying the field and incomplete he had nowhere to throw so he just tossed it away but that brings up fourth and for the second time tonight this field goal unit comes out here from the right hash and this one just a chippy and his kick here is good 
And with that, they'll take a one-point lead here in the second. So give them three there. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they couldn't punch it in. And credit this defense, too. That was the old bend-but-don't-break approach. But it kept the offense out of the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. timeout here by the offense it's just their first so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime they'll look to throw and a hit jarred it loose it's incomplete and that drop will cause a little bit of angst for the play caller because you know they've worked all week game planning and flexing the tight end out and making time he's got the hookup it's complete and he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41 and now they're in the hurry up Here we go. now on first down he'll drop to throw it and he will find his man on the outside a good pick up there eight yards on the first down completion really good job by the offense there every second counts right now so for them to get out of bounds and save some time that's a nice move Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they're able to get this one down to the 25. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Come on, let's go! Grand 38! Grand 38! They'll look to throw here on first down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And his kick is indeed good. And with that, they'll take a two-point lead here in quarter number two. So they kick it through to take the lead. There is a little bit of time left, though, here in the second quarter. And while they're concerned about not giving up a big return or giving up points themselves going into the half, how good do they feel, though, putting points on the board themselves right near the end of the first half? This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So we have reached halftime here in a tight two-point contest. As we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon. I'm Larry Ridley, and welcome to our EA Halftime Report. Both teams have done enough to be leading here to this point, but in a close game, you know the second half is going to have some more twists and turns, which should lead to some excitement. All right, let's do this. Here's the first half highlights. Head to late in the first. He stays up the middle on the run, and he'll end up sprinting into the end zone. Fourth down, inches to go. Browns go up by three. Here the pass is completed into coverage, and after the short pass, he'll score. They would go ahead by two. Now to late in the second. Broken coverage here on the pass play, and it's going to end up going for a gain of 27. They would go on to kick a field goal and put three points on the board. All right, LR, thank you.